Professional wrestling. It's a sport that comes with men and women who compete in a variety of different styles. But at its core, professional wrestling gets its lineage in the highly combative sport of amateur wrestling. However, through its evolution, professional wrestling has left its Greco-Roman roots behind into what we see today. But in the late 90s, the world was met with someone who was the perfect blend of these two worlds. Kurt Angle Known by many as one of the best wrestlers to ever put on a singlet and walk to the ring, he is a man that defines what it means to be both an amateur and professional wrestler. He has the charisma to connect with the fans on both a widespread and individual level. He has the technical ability to get out of any hold before putting his opponent in one that is near impossible to get out of. And of course, he has the Olympic gold medal to back up everything in the ring. He's intense, hard-hitting, high-flying, powerful, and an overall unstoppable monster. However, as the years have gone on, a certain young Englishman has grown into someone who has modeled himself to become a potentially even better version of the Olympian. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Tyler Bate. A young man that at only 19 years old was signed by the biggest professional wrestling company in the world and won the United Kingdom Championship in a grueling tournament. At only 19 years old, Tyler Bate was already seen by many to be one of the best wrestlers in the WWE. He has an unbelievable amount of strength for a man who is only 5'7", his size lends himself to be an expert high flyer, and his will is seemingly unbreakable. The British wrestling scene is full of gifted technical wrestlers, and Tyler Bate is no exception. Tonight, it's time for this young man to be put to the ultimate test as he goes up against someone who, no matter what, will fight until he gets the job done. Both men, with a perfect blend of wrestling talent, are entering the squared circle to see who has the biggest heart, the most intelligent mind, and an unbreakable body. Will Tyler Bate lose in a battle of pure technical intensity, or will Kurt Angle be unable to climb the Mustache Mountain? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ultimate Dream Warfare. Alright everybody, welcome back to another edition here of Ultimate Dream Warfare, the show in which your biggest dream matches become a reality. How are y'all doing? My name is Dominic, of course, behind the commentary table, and this man needs no introduction. Okay, he is a master of professional wrestling. He is one of the most intense, hard-hitting and technical competitors we have ever seen enter that squared circle. He is an Olympic gold medalist. He is a world champion across multiple promotions. He is a Hall of Fame athlete in every sense of the word. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Kurt freaking Angle. And if you don't know who he is, well then you've been missing out. Kurt Angle, he is a legend amongst wrestling fans and critics alike. Kurt Angle, for my money, may be one of the most perfect competitors to ever lace up a pair of boots. Okay, he can do anything required for him to get the job done, but so can this man, Tyler Bates. Now, you may be wondering why exactly, out of everybody, Kurt Angle could compete against here tonight, why Tyler Bates? Perhaps you may be thinking to yourself, perhaps a bigger jury match for you specifically could be Kurt Angle versus, let's say, another Olympian that could be described as an American alpha and not particularly this young man from the UK. Well, here's why I believe this, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be a very interesting matchup. Both men have shown that they can be incredibly hard-hitting, incredibly intense, and tremendous technicians who aren't afraid to fly across the ring. They're very similar athletes indeed. However, for my money, Tyler Bates has something that a lot of other competitors just simply doesn't. And that is this incredible, and I'm going to say this again, incredible way to not only seem like the man on top while simultaneously being the underdog. 
Kurt Angle has a very similar idea. He can always be an underdog, yet somehow he is always the man on top. Both men are dominating competitors, even though Tyler Bate and Kurt Angle aren't necessarily seen as the biggest guys in the wrestling world. But the way they dominate is via their use of their amazing skill. And as you can see right now, the match started. And you can see that skill panning out right now. Kurt Angle and Tyler Bate. Here we go, and Tyler Bate takes him down. And this is exactly what I expected to kick this match off with, ladies and gentlemen. An exchange of grappling maneuvers. Both men have shown the world that they are expert technicians when they want to be. Kurt Angle even showed the Olympic world just that. As Tyler Bate goes behind Kurt Angle here. Oh, wait a second. Angle goes behind him. You never want to be in that position when going up against Kurt Angle because Angle can turn that into a German suplex and then turn it into another one and then turn it into a trifecta because that's just how powerful he is. He has this intensity. He has this raw ability to do anything he wants to in that ring. Okay, if he can think of it, he can do it. Tyler Bay, however, very similar. Okay, he's a very imaginative competitor. And whatever he wants to do, he can do it, okay? He can lift up men twice his size. He can fly around the ring like a cruiserweight. He can bring down a technical wizard like Kurt Angle, as we're seeing right now. However, Kurt Angle now is the man who takes down Tyler Bate, wrenching the arm. Okay, both men now with a bit of a stare down. Both men seemingly very even thus far in this matchup. As that way, second Tyler Bate... Tyler Bate takes him down, and here we go, working over the lower back here with the first submission hold applied of the matchup as he looks to take down and tap out the Olympic gold medalist. But there you see, Angle takes him down. However, Angle now grabs him, and always second turns it into a submission hold of his own, trying to tap out Tyler Bate in the early moments of this matchup, working over the leg, working over the ankle, you could say, perhaps to set up the ankle lock for later on down the line. Okay, that ankle lock that he has used to tap out so many competitors. Oh, as again he goes after the leg of Bate. As Kurt Angle goes to pick him up, but there you see Tyler Bate takes him down with a bit of an arm drag and then a slap right to the face. A bit, a bit of a backhand, okay? I don't know if that was disrespect or if that was just, oh, just in his nature to do. Okay, hit him with another strike. However, right now he's hitting him with a brain buster. Drops him on the top of his skull. Goes for the cover now, one. Two, no, and only a two count. Now the question, ladies and gentlemen, for this matchup is can Tyler Bates' lovable attitude match up to the legendary intensity of Kurt Angle? And we're finding out, oh, perhaps it can, as he kicks him right in the face. Hits him with a boot right to the jaw. Absolutely sickening, absolutely brutal, but that's what Tyler Bate needs to do as he goes to wrench on the lower back again, perhaps trying to wrench on that back so when he hits that Tyler Driver 97, it can be ever more disastrous for Kurt Angle. As he kicks him in the gut, does Angle, and then a strike for good measure. Okay, we've already seen in the opening moments of this matchup, ladies and gentlemen, how both men perhaps are gearing up to set up for a massive finishing maneuver with Kurt Angle going after the leg of Tyler Bate and Tyler Bate going after the back. However, right now, both men are going back and forth here and there you see Angle shows off that power taking down Tyler Bate. However, there you see Kurt Angle grabs Tyler Bate who gets up, gets back to his feet. Oh, and then uses those educated feet to take down the Olympic gold medalist. Now, oh, what is this? Oh, what is this? Turns it into a Boston Crab here. And once again, working over the lower back, as I mentioned earlier. And that's exactly what Tyler Bate wants to do and loves to do. He wants to wrench on that lower back. He wants to make sure that Kurt Angle, when he takes a Tyler Driver, will be... Oh! Will be unable to kick out due to the disastrous effects of the long-term working over of the lower back by Tyler Bates. As Kurt Angle tries to fight back here against the youngster. And you gotta think Tyler Bates... He's only been wrestling for a few years as he takes down Kurt Angle and already Tyler Bate, even though he's only been wrestling for a few years, he's a very young competitor indeed. However, don't let that fool you. Okay, he has the skills of a veteran and he's only in his, in his early 20s. 
And Kurt Angle, who is a veteran in this matchup, doesn't know what to do with a man like Tyler Bate as he takes him down. Springboard European uppercut, and now he's not done. As always, I get Tyler Bate. Just like that, slowing down the pace once again. Stomping on the arm! Tyler Bate, I I've got to say it. He's absolutely destroying Kurt Angle here tonight. However, there you see Angle trying to fight back. Goes for a kick to the gut again. And again, Tyler Bate catches him with the wheel kick. And Bate now going for the cover. One, two. No, and only a two count. An unexpected domination by Tyler Bate thus far in this matchup could lead to Bate getting the victory if he can keep this up. However, there you see Tyler Bate. Stalks his prey, waits for Kurt Angle to get up, hits him with a big punch right to the jaw. Oh, but there you see Angle strikes back, going after the leg again. And now perhaps going after the back and there, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Going for those, oh, those intense, those powerful, those hard-hitting German suplexes with a trifecta right on Tyler Bate. Okay, Kurt Angle using his, I'll admit, his much greater size in this matchup with these German suplexes. But there you see Tyler Bate, smaller than Kurt Angle, much more agile than Kurt Angle as he hits him there. Throws him to the outside, okay? D flipping out of the German suplex. And now, oh, wait a second, Tyler Bate, perhaps seeing this as an opportunity to flip into Kurt Angle. And the crowd chanting, this is awesome, as Tyler Bate launches himself to Kurt Angle. And Bate now rolls him over. Perhaps could beat the Olympic gold medalist here. One, two. No, and only a two count. As he gets the shoulder up, he pushes Tyler Bate off. As Tyler, oh, with a kick right to the upper back there. And once again, working over the back of Kurt Angle. Okay, that's been the story throughout this entire matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Even though Kurt Angle keeps trying to fight back, Tyler Bate, he is still... Oh! Seemingly unable to be kept down as he gets taken down with that back suplex. And perhaps this is Kurt Angle's moment. As Angle, oh, picks him up here and slams down Tyler. Okay, Kurt Angle here fighting out of Pennsylvania, and perhaps looking to tap out Tyler Bay here with another submission hold. A lot of submission holds thus far in this matchup, ladies and gentlemen, and I wouldn't expect anything but from these expert technicians as he hits him there with the back elbow. Meanwhile, Tyler Bay, ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of England as he throws Kurt Angle. Boy, oh, second, Angle now fights back here. It's a battle between countries, it's a battle between cultures, and it's a battle between expert technicians as he's got him here in the ankle lock out of nowhere! Out of nowhere he's got him in the ankle lock! And that's exactly what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen, working over the leg the entire, t the entire matchup just to see if Tyler Bates will tap out of this ankle lock that he's been gearing up for the entire match. And Tyler, Tyler, trying to fight back here with the kicks right to the face of Angle, and he gets out of it, expertly done by Kurt Angle to hit that to hit that ankle lock, however Tyler Bates gets out of it as Bates now tries to fight back here, and he hits him there and takes him down oh, and he hits him with a kick right to the upper back of Kurt Angle, and Tyler Bates now picks up Angle, oh, who hits him with a European uppercut right to the European indeed as he takes him down to a knee Tyler Bate, perhaps exhausted, perhaps not feeling too good after that, oh, brutal ankle lock that has taken out so many other competitors, but so has this! Tyler Driver connecting! One, two, three, no, and he kicks out of it! Both men have been prepping for both the ankle lock and Tyler Driver throughout the entire matchup, yet even after all that prep work, even after all of that, neither man are willing to stay down. Neither man are able to keep the other one down, and that just shows the heart and determination on both sides of the matchup as Tyler Bates, oh wait a second, sees this as an opportunity. Kurt Angle, he's in a very bad position as he takes him down with a superplex. And no, wait a second, he's not done. Tyler Bates not done. He goes to the opposing corner, seeing this as an opportunity once again. Oh, and he connects with the spiral tap. Superplex, spiral tap, combination one, two, three. No, and again, he can't 
keep him down. He hit him with the Tyler driver. He hit him with a superplex. He hit him with the spiral tap. He's hit Kurt Angle with everything in his arsenal, and yet Angle unable to quit. As now there you see Kurt Angle, perhaps trying to take this moment to wear down Tyler Bates. Trying to tap him out once again here. Perhaps, ladies and gentlemen, Kurt Angle wants to show the world that he is no quitter. That Tyler Bates is perhaps a quitter if he can keep him down long enough to tap him out. Oh, as he hits him there with a knee right to the jaw. Neither man, ladies and gentlemen, willing to give up in this matchup. They keep hitting each other with submission hold after submission hold. Both men have something to prove. Kurt Angle, he's a legend of this business, and he wants to show the world exactly why he is. Tyler Bate, in my opinion, a future legend in his own right, as he gets taken down, and once again, the legs of Tyler Bate get worked over by Kurt Angle, and Angle now flies, oh, well, prepares to fly as he goes up to the top here. Will it connect? And he does with a crossbody. And the cover, one, two... No, and only a two count. Okay, Kurt Angle, I mentioned earlier, is a very agile competitor indeed when he wants to be. And yet, Tyler Bate, ladies and gentlemen, kicking out. And Kurt Angle, he looks pissed. Kurt Angle, perhaps lining him up, waiting for him here to get up. But there you see Tyler Bate gets out of it. And Bate tries to fight back here against Kurt Angle. Okay, the straps are down for Kurt Angle. Yet Tyler Bate, the fists are up. Oh, but he goes for a kick. Instead, Kurt Angle catches him and takes him down with a suplex. Kurt Angle, the expert grappler, goes for the cover now. One, two, no, and only a two count again, just barely getting the shoulder up. Oh, as he takes him down there. The jaw right to the top of the head. And now, wait a second. Tyler Bate. Tyler Bate connects with another Tyler Driver. One, two, out of nowhere. No, and he kicks out again. And Angle gets up. And Tyler Bate can't believe it. With a back suplex. Kurt Angle, however, shows off his own agility as he gets out of it. Flipping out of the back suplex. How is Kurt Angle still standing? He's taken two Tyler Drivers. He's taken a superplex. He's taken everything. Tyler Bate has had to offer, and now, oh, again, Kurt Angle, Kurt Angle, turns into an angle slam! One, two, no, and only a two count again! Oh my god. Tyler Bate going for a back suplex. Kurt Angle flips out of it again. And Kurt Angle out of nowhere with an angle slam. And yet, Tyler Bate kicks out. But the question now is, oh my god, there you see he's just stomping on the ankle, stomping on the leg. And perhaps, oh, Kurt Angle, he's furious. He's absolutely furious here, working over the leg again of Tyler Bate. Okay, you can't keep him down for the pin. Perhaps he can tap him out here as he tries to right now. Kurt Angle, once again, has the submission hold applied. Will he be able to tap him out? As Bates, he's got nowhere to go. He's got to reach for those ropes, but he just can't do it. Instead, he uses his own raw power to hit him with the back elbow. Here at Ultimate Dream Warfare, you are witnessing a dream match indeed. Oh, that's Tyler Bates there, you see, with another kick to the gut. The crowd watching on. Kurt Angle trying to fight back against Tyler Bates. However, right now, Tyler Bates being very successful in these strikes. But Kurt Angle, nonetheless, oh, once again, goes for a spear into the corner. Oh, it gets a big wheel kick again by Tyler Bates. Goes for the cover. One, two, no, and again. And if you're Tyler Bates, you got to be thinking, what the hell? Do I have to do to keep Kurt Angle down as he takes him down with a German? And Bate now with another one. Bate absolutely, oh God. Getting brutalized here by Kurt Angle. The Olympic gold medalist, the American hero, the former world champion, the Hall of Famer, Kurt Angle, putting on a Hall of Fame worthy performance against Tyler Bates. 
Oh, wait a second. However, however, Kurt Angle, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, takes him down. Out of nowhere, takes him down. Out of nowhere, with the ankle lock, with the ankle lock applied. And he taps out. Angle taps out Tyler Bates. With a, with a quite literally out of nowhere ankle lock. Okay, Kurt Angle working over the leg the entire matchup, ladies and gentlemen. However, for the first half, he was unable to do anything. Tyler Bate hit him with everything he had in his arsenal. The Tyler Driver twice hitting him with a die to the outside, the spiral tap, and so on and thus forth. Kurt Angle had to do everything in his power and will to fight back against Tyler Bate successfully. He did it. Okay, Kurt Angle... Hitting him with an angle slam, hitting him with multiple ankle locks. But in the end, Tyler Bate had no choice but to tap out to the legend himself, Kurt Angle. Tyler Bate, in my opinion, he is the future of professional wrestling. He just showed the world why he is perhaps going to be joining the Hall of Fame in the future alongside his adversary tonight. This man, the Olympic gold medalist, one of the best professional wrestlers to ever enter a squared circle, Kurt angle and on that i want to thank you all for watching this one as kurt angle celebrates the win good night everybody next time on ultimate dream warfare